When you move to your new house, you may find out that in your new neighborhood, the line voltage from the power company is way too high. And the first thing you notice is that the electric bulbs blow out frequently, especially the LED bulbs. There are some devices around the house slowly deteriorating due to the excessive voltage, such as computers, televisions, and other electronic devices. First thing you must do is get yourself a voltmeter that can measure within a 220 volt AC range. They are easy to find and very inexpensive. Using your voltmeter, you must measure the voltage in your outlets throughout the day. You may find an average voltage as high as 130 volts. If so, this problem can be solved by wiring a separate line to power all light switches and also for some power outlets in order to connect low power appliances which can be damaged by overvoltage. To reduce the voltage for this special line, you must add a small, low-cost, easy-to-install transformer. It is handy to identify these outlets later by sticking a green label on them. As for the rest of the outlets, leave them as they are, wired to the 130 volt line. Again, it is handy to identify these high voltage outlets by means of a red label each. You need a so-called filament step-down transformer. Intended to step voltage down from 120 volts to 24 volts, that is, it has a 5 to 1 step-down ratio. In this case, you will apply 130 volts to its input or primary winding, and its secondary will output 26 volts. The amp capacity of the secondary winding of the transformer should be about 10 amps, so it can easily support the power used up by your light bulbs, plus some low energy drain appliances. These are the simple connections required for adding the special line, shown here in blue, to deliver a voltage of around 100 volts thus protecting the devices connected to the green labeled outlets. The primary winding of the transformer is permanently connected to the 130 volt line coming into the house, shown in black, and to the neutral wire, white colored in the drawing. The secondary winding of the transformer delivers one-fifth of the voltage supplied by the primary winding, so the secondary delivers 26 volts, one-fifth of 130. We temporarily connect one end of the secondary winding of the transformer to the live 130 volt, shown as black, coming from the utility and the other end of the secondary is left provisionally disconnected. Now, with the voltmeter set to the 200 volt range, measure the voltage from the neutral wire, shown in white, to the free end of the secondary winding of the transformer. Since the secondary is in series with the 130 volt line, the 26 volts will either be added or subtracted, depending on polarity. If you miss the right polarity on your first attempt, the voltage reading of the meter will be around 156 volts. We don't want that. In this case, you will have to reverse the connections of the secondary winding so the secondary voltage is subtracted from the line voltage and not the other way. That is, 
130 volts minus 26 volts equals 104 volts. Once the connections of the secondary have been reversed, the voltage of the free end of the secondary will be around 104 volts with respect to the neutral wire. This is perfectly safe for fluorescent or LED type bulbs. After double checking you're getting a voltage around 100 volts, you can then connect the free end of the secondary to the line shown in blue in the drawing. This line is going to feed all the light switches as well as the outlets intended for connecting the low drain devices which could be damaged by the 130 volt line. It is not safe to connect all the appliances around the house to the protected outlets since the transformer would be overloaded. The blue line has the sole purpose of protecting the bulbs as well as some low power drain devices. Check your local codes before wiring the transformer and low voltage line. Definitely the fridge, the microwave oven and the electric heaters the vacuum cleaner, etc. must not be connected to the transformer protected blue line in order to avoid burning the transformer. I hope this video has been useful to you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.